Buongiorno. Happy Martin Luther King Day, everyone. It's a beautiful day. There's a lot of folks out here in the bosque, um, nearby where I am here today. And so I'm glad that folks are who are not working in honor of Dr. King's remembrance are uh, commuting with Mother Nature. Um, great to see. And uh, I'm here today to um, show you all a thing that I tried to do last year. It's a couple, two months too late into the season. Um, by the time I got around to it, uh, there were already leaves and um, it made it uh, much harder to successfully uh, cut and transplant um, the black currant, which there is, as you may have recalled from a previous edition, a pretty big old patch here, kind of near La Ramada, if you were to look on Google Maps, lol. Um, and I will be happy to take folks out here if you want to come to this particular patch of fruit, patch of bushes. Uh, at, in any case, um, always uh, show respect and gratitude for um, the plants and spaces where uh, you go to either rec recreate or harvest, cultivate, whatever you're doing. Um, so. Um, this is a pretty big current. It's not about to have any problem with me cutting pieces of it, but nonetheless, say a little um, <clears throat> word of recognition and praise and gratitude and uh, ask permission, uh, as has been taught to me, um, to the plant before you take of it. And uh, so, oh, nice patch of black current here. May you thrive and uh, sh have plenty to share with all of our relatives here in the bosque, human, non-human alike. Um, and so, let's see, I'm gonna just try and cut a variety of them because I didn't have the best success. Hello. How you doing? You getting yourselves? All right, enjoy the day. Thank you. Um, so I'm gonna just try and cut a variety of different spots. You know, it's often good to go Something like this, I suppose, further down. Um, I am happy to receive and am soliciting uh, feedback and corrections, info on how to best <coughs> take cuttings. Um, but yeah, with a little root hormone, root growing hormone, and water and patience, and I think the key for my mistake last year was just timing on harvesting these cuttings. So do it in the winter time, not in the spring, when it's 70 plus degrees out. Not to say we haven't had some days like that this winter. But uh, yeah, I mean, I always see this new growth and um, like I said, if it splits, maybe, you know, I'd go for that. That's too small, I don't wanna mess with that. That's just the main stem, I don't wanna mess with that. If something like this was a little longer, maybe double the length, I'd probably go for it. And I'm just going off of some other things that I've learned. I'm not entirely sure um, what's going to be the best result for us, but um, yeah, I'm going to just update you all once I've got a little more um, time with these babies and once they've leafed out in a couple months. And uh, yeah, I've potted them up and stuff. So again, if you would like to know this spot and uh, get in on harvesting some currants, uh, cuttings I should say um, you might even get some fruit this year if you give it some good love and get it here before it warms up to the point of springtime arriving so thanks for watching enjoy <laughs>